People have always been intrigued by the idea that animals can sense things we can't, especially when it comes to the paranormal. Throughout history, many cultures have thought that animals, like pets, have a special ability to detect ghosts or spirits. There are lots of stories about pets acting strangely, showing fear or interest in places or things that seem normal to us. Although there's no solid scientific proof linking animals to the paranormal, the idea that they might be more aware of these unseen forces is really fascinating to people. In this video, we see various animals appearing to respond to something that could be paranormal. Hey, what's the matter, girl? Come here. What's the matter? Are you okay? The dog seems to avoid the door and hides under the bed for safety. What is it? What is it, girl? As the man gets closer to another dog, it also appears scared, with its head down. Then, the man walks towards the kitchen where a cat is seen staring up at the ceiling before quietly disappearing out of sight. It appears that something is making the animals nervous, but what could it be? Is that? Suddenly, a loud bang echoes throughout the house. The man enters the attic with hesitation, finding it filled with various items. A brief search of the area shows nothing seems amiss. As he heads back down the stairs, another bang can be heard. The hell? The man goes back into the attic, setting the camera down before proceeding deeper into the space. The man inadvertently flees, leaving his camera behind. That's when more unusual activity is captured on film. Is it possible this guy ran into some ghostly activity? Living in his house must feel like a horror movie. But imagine this. You're out driving, having a good time with your friends, and then something really weird happens. That's exactly what went down with these two friends. They were on their way home at night when their dash cam caught something spooky happening in the back seat. While they were singing, one of them saw what looked like a face in the baby seat behind them. It might just be our brains tricking us into seeing things that aren't there, but for a moment, there's what looks like a very clear face that suddenly disappears. This probably freaked them out more than anything they've ever seen. But imagine how much creepier it would be if something like this happened to a kid. On October 10th, 2023, a toy camera recorded a little girl playing and chatting about her day, kind of like she's making her own little video diary. She talks about her day and her plans with her friends for the next week. However, there's something about this video that has really bothered her family. I'm messing around with my little sister's camera. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna show it to you, just, okay. The video is undeniably eerie. Here's the full footage from the toy camera shared by the older sister. Take a look. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Skibbity Toilet Collection that I just got today. Um, we went to a toy store and they had all of these things like this cameraman, these tiny little action figures, this big Skibbity Toilet, and this one. And then we actually found these Skibbity Toilet shoes and they say Skibbity Toilet on them. And I'm going to wear it to school tomorrow. A lot of kids at my school like Skibbity Toilet. I saw my friend the other day, and we went on a walk, and we also got ice cream that day, and I'm having a lot of
video starts off normally but quickly turns creepy. Halfway through, the girl notices something off camera and suddenly seems scared. She looks frozen in fear, but manages to leave before things become even more unsettling. Just a few minutes after she leaves, the camera captures a dark figure moving in front of the tent. It's hard to see exactly what it is, but her older sister believes it's what frightened her. We don't know if she's talked to her sister about what she saw. The only details come from what her sister shared. We're left waiting for more information to really understand what happened. Meanwhile, a construction worker at a remote site was amazed by the sight of the moon and decided to film it to share with his family. The moon is, it's really big. Anyway, it's pretty cool. No. No, 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 no. Wait, Adding to the mystery, this construction site was in a remote area with no residents nearby. The homes visible in the background are just model units, closed to the public. This raises the question, was someone lurking at the site intending to frighten the worker, or could this have been a paranormal incident that defies explanation? The incident is as perplexing as the next video we're about to discuss, which is truly mind-boggling caught on a trail camera, and shared on the YouTube channel NVTV, a platform known for its videos of alleged sightings of creatures like Bigfoot and Dogman, Nevada TV uploaded a clip in April with the title, Shocking Trail Cam Footage No One Expected. And if the viewer reactions are anything to go by, it certainly lived up to its shocking promise. A trail camera captured footage of something that looks like a creature crawling into view. It moved slowly, using its long limbs, and gave the camera a chilling look with its glowing eyes before disappearing. The video introduced this being as a rake, a humanoid figure from folklore and urban myths, known for causing mental distress to those it encounters, similar to Slender Man. This footage left viewers spooked, especially because of its human-like appearance, but with unsettlingly odd proportions. But there's something even more baffling. A video posted on the Ghost subreddit, which has gained nearly 7,000 upvotes, is next in line. According to the person who shared it, it was recorded a few years ago by a friend of their friend's brother. In it, you can spot a figure in white with black hair emerging from under a trampoline. To this day, no one knows who or what that figure was. Here's that video. Did you catch that? A figure in white with dark hair slowly emerges from under the trampoline, then just vanishes into thin air. The video, first shared on Snapchat, ends abruptly because of Snapchat's limit on video length. Even now, the person who posted it and their friends are clueless about the identity of this figure, and so are the people on the Ghosts subreddit. The sight of that semi-transparent figure crawling out from under the trampoline is still an unsolved mystery. Speaking of mysteries, there are things that happen to people that they just can't make sense of, like what happened to Leanne. She uploaded a video on TikTok that left her totally confused. She was filming her son having fun outside, wanting to capture a joyful moment for their family memories. But then, something happened that Leanne simply couldn't understand. Yay! Leanne's son tosses a toy away, then appears to fixate on something invisible. Suddenly, he's knocked to the floor by an unseen force. This video stunned TikTok users, leading to many discussions in the comments. Most think that only Leanne's son could see what pushed him, 
Unfortunately, Leanne's troubles in the house continue, as she later records another unsettling event while her son plays in the living room. Leanne's son suddenly looks behind him and asks, who's that then? As if he felt something touch his back. That's where the video stops. But this wasn't the only spooky thing happening to Leanne and her family in that house. Ever since they moved in, Leanne had been having scary dreams about a mysterious man. After a few weird occurrences, she talked to her neighbors to see if they knew anything about the house. What they told her was really creepy. The people who lived there before had gone through similar spooky stuff which is why they sold the house. The neighbors even showed Leanne a photo of a man, and it was the same man from her nightmares. Turns out, this man had died under sad circumstances in the house years before. Leanne decided that was it. Just over seven months after moving in, they left the house for good because she was too worried about these strange happenings. Similarly, a dad is really freaked out by something he says he caught on his baby monitor. On December 20th, 2023, at about 9 p.m., he and his wife were playing with their two kids before bedtime, doing stuff like tag or hide and seek. But this time, something happened that the dad still can't figure out. He got it on video with his phone. Here it is. Believing that his wife or child might be hiding in the closet, he waits for them to come out. However, to his surprise, no one is inside. Understandably, the father is completely terrified. He insists that just before the door opened, he heard a voice. I know, but we're downstairs. Revisiting the video, the father feels validated that he didn't just imagine things. He actually heard something unusual. Although they can't explain what happened, the family has seen comments suggesting it might be something paranormal. But no matter the cause, they've decided to keep the closet locked and try to move past the incident, hoping it doesn't happen again. But this strange experience is minor compared to what Franco Bonifaco, who seems to be a model from Argentina, went through. He shared in one of his early Instagram stories that he was hanging out with friends one night when things got weird. It began with a piece of wall decor moving by itself. And then the next night, he went live on Instagram to document these strange happenings while chatting with a friend. Following this, Franco manages to capture furniture moving and even some strange light anomalies for the first time. He woke up to loud breathing noises coming from the other side of the door at night, and he claims to have seen a small shadow as well. His family's house is equipped with several CCTV cameras, and they captured something even more mysterious that night.
Additionally, it's reported that he experienced severe chest pain, leading to hospitalization for several days. Oddly, Franco didn't realize something was wrong until a friend urged him to investigate further. Could it be a tall, shadowy figure spying on him? What's intriguing is that several electronic devices began malfunctioning or glitching occasionally. However, a truly inexplicable event occurred during the day, when one of their home trainers was manipulated by an unseen force. Someone was downstairs ringing the doorbell, but the doorbell camera inexplicably shuts off. Franco mentions checking the camera after hearing the elevator and noticing an object being moved around in the hallway. Can you make out the face? Does it belong to some evil being he summoned that night? Unexplained nighttime anomalies along with other strange events continue to occur. A few days later, the activity appears to intensify, with the CCTV camera capturing violent attempts to open the door in the middle of the night. Franco is seen in opposition to a selfie, with another possible shadowy figure in the background. Then, on one of the subsequent nights, a voice is captured that seems to be moaning. Naturally, Franco is perplexed as to where it could be coming from. Another phone call captured the activity this time, with his friend also witnessing it. And it only got worse from there. The shadow is now observed almost daily, which is likely not a good sign. Something mysterious seems to have left these marks on the walls of the house. One of his most recent documented captures is of the shadow figure standing right behind him while he was live streaming for his fans. Franco Bonifaco's situation is still unfolding, making people wonder if his experiences are genuine or just a play for fame. While some may stage such incidents to gain popularity, others are genuinely interested in exploring the unknown, seeking real evidence of the paranormal. This brings us to the Japanese ghost hunting channel, Fourth Wall Team, who are known for their authentic investigations. Mount Benton, one of the smallest mountains in Japan, is notorious for paranormal sightings. Despite its past with several abandoned buildings where visitors often tried to capture ghostly images, it's now a well-maintained tourist spot. Yet, the ghost stories continue. A recent video from a visitor aiming to document these frequent sightings initially shows nothing out of the ordinary, but when he reviews his footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. This is what he recorded at Mount Benton, Japan. In the video, a pale face eerily peeks out from the shadows, seemingly staring directly at the cameraman, who is oblivious to its presence. Later, a figure appears to stand in the darkness, while the cameraman climbs the stairs. Something that many believe to be a ghost moves from right to left at the top of the staircase. The fourth wall team and their YouTube viewers are convinced these are genuine ghost sightings captured on camera. The idea of spending time with kids often brings joy and a refreshing break from the everyday. However, imagine a scenario where something strange happens during such a moment. Yosa was babysitting his niece and nephew one evening. 
Everything was normal until his niece started pointing into the dark, fixated on something invisible to Hosa. At first, he didn't take it seriously, but her persistent pointing made him reconsider, wondering if there really might be something there, and feeling increasingly uneasy, he decided to record what was happening. Then this door is wide open over here, man. Or just, I don't know. She's like looking over there like there's someone over there. She's freaking me out. <laughs> Look, she's pointing. See? There's someone over there. I'm freaking out. Who are you pointing at? Who is he? How can we keep pointing? Where's he at? Is he over there? Who is he? I'm not really sure who it is, but... Yeah, she's like pointing upwards. They must be tall or something. Look, she's pointing again, look. His niece wouldn't stop pointing at this spot for some reason. Even creepier, she points toward the ceiling, hinting that whatever is there is probably tall. But just when things couldn't get any creepier, Yosa records this. Yeah, she said something though. Like, it's crazy because like, oh, no, I'm just babysitting my niece and nephew. My nephew's right here. Then it's her and then she keeps pointing at something. You gotta get out of here, man. You gotta leave, man. Honestly. You're not welcomed here. Leave. Whoever you are, leave. You're scaring my niece. Look, she keeps pointing at you. Get the f*** out of here, man. Right when the tension was at its peak, an unexpected event occurred. An object suddenly fell towards Yosa and his niece, as if it had been thrown by an unseen force. This took Josa completely by surprise, leaving him momentarily speechless. However, his shock quickly turned into frustration towards the unseen presence messing with them. He then stopped the recording and chose to ignore the incident, despite still being clueless about what his niece was pointing at in the hallway. The experience likely left him feeling uneasy, suspecting something eerie about the hallway. But hallways aren't the only places with potential for creepiness. Basements can be just as spooky. Daniela, a TikTok user, shares a story about a CCTV recording from her parents' house. The camera, positioned above the basement entrance, was installed because of unexplained noises heard during the night. On this particular occasion, the footage reveals something baffling. So my parents think that their basement's haunted, and then they caught this on camera. What is that? What is that? The footage Daniela shared is truly strange. It seems to show what looks like a face peeking through a narrow opening in the door, which sounds impossible. Some viewers even claimed they could see an eye of whatever was there before it suddenly disappeared. In a similar vein, a Reddit user known as Cable Car Spy had her own eerie experience while alone at home one night. She heard unexplainable sounds coming from the upstairs. Soon after, a door in the living room began moving by itself. That prompted her to start recording the incident. She later posted the video on Reddit, hoping to find some answers or explanations for what she witnessed. Let's take a closer look at her story. Okay, I don't know what is going on here. This, oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. No way. No way. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. There is nobody here. This is insane. Oh my god. In Cable Car Spy's footage, there's a man seen peeking down the staircase to the left, clearly not a member of her family. She didn't catch this detail until she reviewed the footage later, which adds an eerie layer to the event. Since it wasn't a known friend or family member, and with the unlikelihood of an intruder going unnoticed, it raises the possibility of a paranormal occurrence. Similarly, Diane, who typically shares content on cooking and traveling, found herself entangled in the supernatural. She shared an unsettling experience on the internet after discovering something alarming on her living room camera, recorded at 2 a.m., the footage seemingly shows a woman's figure, which even caught the attention of her cat, Noah, whose eyes can be seen towards the end of the clip. Diane, who believes she is sensitive to spirits, claimed she has felt an unfamiliar presence in her home for months. 
The figure in the footage, according to her, appears to be an elderly woman with long hair. She's turned to the online community for their thoughts on whether this could indeed be a spectral visitation. In Diane's living room footage, what appears to be a small statue can also be seen, which some might interpret as the shape of a woman. If this figure isn't a known family member, stumbling upon it would indeed be a frightening experience. On a related note, a young man experienced something equally puzzling within his own home. He reported hearing numerous unsettling sounds emanating from his basement. Despite his efforts to document these occurrences, he never managed to capture any concrete evidence on camera until this. I heard some noises again! Hello? In one instance, what seems to be a pair of ghostly legs walks across the screen and then disappears, leaving everyone puzzled about what happened next. Similarly puzzling is an incident during a live tennis match, which is hard to dismiss since live footage can't be edited like recorded videos. Christian Guerrero posted a video from a live match where a mysterious dark shape quickly crosses the court. Strangely, the tennis ball seems to pass right through it before it disappears without anyone on the court, including the umpire, noticing anything. This incident has left people wondering if they witnessed a ghostly appearance on the tennis court, as Guerrero suggests. It's quite strange indeed. In another case, a mother had a strange experience at her home. At around 3 p.m., she decided to record a video at the back entrance of her house after witnessing something unusual. Previously, she had filmed this door only once before when her dog had broken the glass. Although she was initially upset about the incident, it's become a fond memory, especially since her dog has recently passed away. On this particular day, she's filming the door again, hoping to catch the strange occurrence on camera once more. When it's open, it shows up. Move. Can you move? Can you move? She's taking a video. She's coming back. Oh, it's got dark Can you move? play with the dogs and then it's gonna come back Upon close inspection, a clear outline becomes visible on the glass. It resembles the silhouette of a dog, appearing suddenly as if it's waiting outside to be let in. However, it only remains visible for a short while before it fades away. The family is convinced that this is the spirit of their dearly missed dog, who had to be put down. While it brings sadness, there's also comfort in believing their pet's presence lingers. This video gives them a sense of reassurance that, despite the difficult decision to say goodbye, their beloved dog remains with them in spirit. A young man shared a video detailing the bizarre events that began happening in his family's home after he and his friends used a Ouija board. With his parents often out of the house, he noticed that the most frightening experiences happened when he was there by himself. Some believe that the Ouija board session might have opened a portal to a sinister dimension. The footage he captured was taken one evening just as he was getting ready to go to sleep.
Then what's your name then? The nature of the presence in the house remains a mystery, but some speculate that a demon could be trying to coax the young man out of his room for a possession attempt. On the topic of strange possessions, have you ever encountered stories of a possessed mirror? That's exactly what Edgar V might be dealing with. He uploaded a video capturing a toy mirror owned by his daughter, a gift from a neighbor that's been in the family for a while. Recently, Edgar considered getting rid of the toy after a disturbing incident. One evening, he heard his daughter speaking to the mirror as if engaged in a deep conversation with another person. While the mirror is designed to speak, offering greetings like hello or hi, I'm the magical mirror through pre-recorded messages, the dialogue Edgar heard was far from the programmed responses. The mirror's replies and questions were bizarre and unnerving, making the toy seem almost sentient. Edgar and his wife's interaction with the mirror is captured in the footage he shared. Viewers noticed how quickly the toy responded, faster than expected for a regular toy. Some even mentioned their own identical toy doesn't talk like Edgar's. Due to this, the family stored the toy in their shed. Over time though, Edgar's children would come in and mess with the toy, from scrapping it to beating it up. A number has been done to this mirror. Despite replacing parts, the toy still works. In a new clip, Edgar shows the toy again to see if it reacts the same, but while filming, he captures something unexpected. Hola. Hola. Encantado de conocerte. Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. <risa> Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas a chingar a tu madre. Just like before, the toy mirror responds perfectly on cue, almost as if it's carrying on a real conversation. The fact that it's giving new, unexpected replies has convinced the family there's something off about this toy. They're starting to believe it might be cursed or haunted. Because of this, they've decided it's best to keep it out of their house. They're still unsure about what's really happening with the toy, sparking a debate on whether toys can actually be possessed. But this isn't the only case of a strange toy incident. There's a story about a group of friends playing with a Simon game, which is designed to test memory skills by having players follow a sequence of lights and sounds. But in their case, the game started doing something it wasn't made to do. It began answering their questions instead of just playing the game as usual. Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, is my shirt black? Oh. Dude, oh dude, it's this thing is possessed, man. This thing is possessed. Uh, that's good. No. Am I a girl? You a girl? Stupid. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the video was filmed during a house party where a group of friends gathered in the hostess' younger sister's bedroom. The sister was not at home and they had become bored of the party downstairs. They decided to hang out in the bedroom, surrounded by toys and games. However, they were unaware that staying in that room would turn out to be a significant mistake. This is their video. Dude, it was acting up earlier. Yeah, crazy. You guys keep being here. Alan said it was all good. Really? Yeah. This thing is possessed, man. It's this thing is possessed. All right, okay, uh, ask a question, ask a question. What color is the sky? <laughs> Wait. Uh, yeah. I guess I need to ask yes or no. Is the sky <laughs> blue? <laughs> no! Dude, come on. 
Come on, come on, ask it a question. It's probably it's not just like broken. This. Dude, dude, get over here. Ask it a question, dude. Well, first of all, it's not even yours. Alright, let's really test it. It's kind of exhilarating. Dude. Yeah. Am I black? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was, dude. Throw that no. out. It like knows. Stuck on the green button or something. Uh, ask a no. Am I a girl? You a girl? <laughs> oh. Okay, so it knows. Dude, it knows. Dude, so this it thing's, knows. This thing's, it's like uh, one of those Ouija boards, yeah. dude. Yeah, 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 like, it knows. Oh. My mom played with one. Oh, guys, have you guys not seen horror movies today? Oh, dude, let, the picture, dude. The picture. Oh, she drew that. Yeah, dude. Dude, this will actually like tell. Okay. Are you with us in this room? It's not gonna work. Like two fingers on it or something. Oh, oh no! dude! Oh my gosh, it's so creepy. That is so. Creepy, is dude. Okay, uh, is this fine? That thing, dude, it's just on the floor, man. Yo, are we actually hunted right now? Dude, I'm like actually kind of scared, dude. Yeah, um, dude. Like, what even is that? Okay, okay. All right, well, let's let's get real crazy. Did you guys hear that? It came from right here, yeah. We're on the second floor. Oh, okay, oh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, fine. That's enough. Uh, That's enough. The group was so scared that they quickly left the room, leaving everything behind. The sound of tapping on the window confirmed their fears that something weird was going on. They found it impossible for someone to tap on the window since they were on the second floor without any balcony. This left them wondering. If there was nobody outside, then what was tapping on the window? Although they haven't figured out an explanation yet, they suspect it might have to do with a figure they noticed in a picture. Some viewers think the toy was acting as a channel for communication with the group, suggesting that the drawing, possibly of a child's imaginary friend, was communicating with them through the toy. While it's not confirmed, the friends are convinced that was the case. Morgan Lambert shares a video from a time she was visiting a family farm located in the Appalachian Mountains, capturing a chilling moment. The farm's exact whereabouts are kept private, but Morgan notes that her family, the property's owners, have encountered paranormal activity there before. The footage begins with a light-hearted scene featuring Morgan and her husband, who accompanied her to assess the farm after it was hit by strong winds. However, while she's filming, an unsettling incident leads her to stop recording. Morgan hears what sounds like her own voice calling out to her husband from afar, even though she was standing right beside him. This eerie experience is caught on camera for viewers to see. No, you gotta... So we're on an adventure to <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds. We're gonna check it instead of my dad. Oh, God. I'm freezing. It's cold, isn't it? Pretty. Oh God! What? I'm a spell. Yeah, what did you say? I said, "Oh God." I just said, "Oh God," because I no, I really did. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? We. Uh, I think we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, I think we'll we gotta go. Hey, it's... Hey, don't run. Uh, it's okay. We're good. We're good. Um... I don't hear... Go, 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 go. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you messing with me right now? I don't hear anything. What do you hear? With the wind howling in the background, it's challenging to catch the specifics of the noise. But if you pay close attention, you can discern the words baby and hey. What makes this situation even stranger is that Morgan herself didn't hear anything. The video clearly shows that her husband was the only one who seemed to hear the voice, which left him deeply unnerved. Given that they were alone on this extensive piece of land, nestled in a remote area of the Appalachians, it raises the unnerving question, 
who or what was calling out to the husband in such a deserted setting. In a captivating video posted on Instagram by unanswered underscore universe, viewers are shown what seems to be a cell phone recording of security camera footage from an unknown location. The video captures a moment where a man appears to simply vanish as a car drives by. This puzzling occurrence has ignited a flurry of speculation among those who've seen it. Some viewers suggest the video might have been altered, noting anomalies in the partially visible timestamp as evidence. Others think it could be a glitch with the camera itself. Among the more speculative explanations, one viewer proposed an intriguing theory. The man's disappearance might be evidence of a glitch in our supposed simulation. What's your take on this mysterious footage? Do you believe the man truly vanished? Or could there be a more mundane explanation behind this phenomenon? Drop your theories in the comments below. This ghost video, which caught the internet's attention some time ago, has found its way back into the spotlight on Reddit. The person who posted it explains that it was originally filmed by a friend who decided to set up CCTV cameras because of frightening sounds heard outside his home for several nights consecutively. Tragically, just two weeks after capturing this particular footage, the friend who recorded it passed away under mysterious conditions. The video in question was taken by one of the CCTV cameras aimed at the friend's driveway. In the footage, a blurry white figure is captured moving from the right side of the screen to the left before it completely disappears from view. This has led many viewers to believe it's a genuine example of a ghostly encounter, pointing to the figure's movement, its indistinct appearance, and its abrupt vanishing as evidence of something beyond the normal. While there are skeptics who suggest the possibility of video editing, the original poster clarifies that his friend, the elderly gentleman who captured the footage, wasn't very familiar with technology, making it unlikely he could have manipulated the video. This detail adds an intriguing layer to the mystery. What's your perspective? Could this indeed be a ghost caught on camera, and might there be a connection to the sudden and unexplained death of the man who recorded it just two weeks later? While heading to a friend's house one night, a group of friends captured something extraordinary on video. One of them spotted an unusual object in the sky that bizarrely resembled a person walking. Naturally, such a sight seems impossible, stirring curiosity and bewilderment among the group. I'm not tripping. Oh. I would say that's a helicopter, but that's definitely not a helicopter. I can, I can see it clearly with my eyes, but I can't see it on the freaking camera. It looks like a man walking, don't it? I see what? I see Ooh, what is that? Bro, that looks like somebody walking. It looks like someone walking! It looks like someone walking! Indeed, it's difficult to determine precisely what was captured in the video. The peculiar sight has sparked various interpretations. Some speculate it could be an unusual type of drone, or perhaps an unidentified flying object, given the lack of detail and clarity in the footage. What's your take on this mysterious occurrence? Do you lean towards the possibility of a spectral figure taking a stroll in the sky, or does it seem more likely to be an odd object adrift in the air? This intriguing video was shared by a user named Cloakin, captured on their home surveillance system. It seemingly shows the ghost of their cat, Blackjack, lying on a sofa in the living room, a sight invisible to the naked eye at the moment. The nature of this appearance has sparked curiosity and debate. Cloakin describes the incident with a mix of uncertainty and wonder. Not sure if this can be explained, but I caught what looks like my cat, Blackjack, who passed away almost exactly a year ago, materializing on one of our sofas to the far left. When I turned the lights on from my phone, there was nothing black on the sofa, just the pillows that are red, gray, and cream. 
What was it? This description invites speculation about the possible presence of their beloved pet spirit or if it could be something else entirely. The footage shows a startling transition from an empty sofa, aside from the pillows, to the sudden appearance of a shadow-like object as the light gradually turns on. This peculiar occurrence prompts a debate on its nature. Could this indeed be the spirit of Blackjack, making a visit back to his old home, as captured by the surveillance camera? Or might it simply be a shadow cast by an object nearby, an optical illusion created by the changing light conditions? Tomato Superman shared his experience with what might be a ghost in an old pub, previously a hotel, captured in security footage during his recent walk. He writes, Caught this on security cam while walking past an old pub, which used to be a hotel. Sounds familiar, right? I'm usually skeptical about these things. What do you all think? Could it be the same ghost or something else? The video he refers to shows a pinkish orb moving quickly up the stairs, not looking anything like a mere dust particle. Some viewers notice that the orb's quick change in direction suggests it's not just a random occurrence. They think it might be something more supernatural, possibly a guest from its past as a hotel still lingering around. What's your take? Could it be a visitor from the past making their presence known? This video, originally posted on TikTok by someone named RealFSarah918, caught attention on the unexplained subreddit. She was visiting the Crescent Hotel in Arkansas, a place known for its spooky history since it was built in 1886. This hotel isn't just famous for its ghost stories. It also served as a cancer treatment center in the 1930s. Visitors often talk about hearing mysterious sounds like a man crying in the walls, doors that open and close on their own, and even playful spirits that seem to move personal items and decorations as jokes. The clip shows a hotel employee talking about the hotel's ghostly activities, and what happens next is really odd. So, this video I'm about to show you, it was from a guest who was staying here a couple years ago, and she was at the bar talking to, oh my god, stage fright and everything. The bar talking to the bartender, they built up a rapport, and she was waiting to get checked into her room. There was two ladies. They went and got checked in, they were Snapchat in the room, and it wasn't in the Snapchat they saw the ghost, it was as it was replaying. And they took it up here and showed Jay, and he was taken back. He even called the front desk to see how long they had been checked in and to see if anybody else was with them. And it was just the two of them. They had been checked in for like 20 minutes. And yeah, so it's been a good video. Hotel in America, and my nightstand on the creepy door is my eyes chest. So early bedtime, looking for. Did you see it? There's a quick flash of something white that darts by the camera. The question is, what exactly was that? Users on the unexplained subreddit have been tossing around ideas, trying to figure out what they just saw. A lot of them are siding with the person who posted the video, thinking it's a video of a child ghost at the Crescent Hotel. They point out that this kind of brief ghostly appearance is something often mentioned in studies of the paranormal. SirPen95 shared a video on a forum that a friend of theirs recorded while walking with elephants in Thailand. The video was only reviewed once the friend returned home to Sweden. It was then she noticed that besides the street dog that was with her that night, there seemed to be another presence. She initially thought she was alone except for the dog's company. A fellow forum user found the video odd and wondered if the dog had reacted to the presence or if there was a doorway nearby that someone could have come through. Serpen95 clarified, There was no door in the vicinity of the sighting. It was actually on the other side of the house. Additionally, having spent several months there, the friend was familiar with the local staff and confirmed that the figure in the video didn't match the attire of anyone she knew. This has led to speculation. Could this be something unexplainable or just a person in unusual clothing? This video was shot in Japan and captures a family of three inside a car during a car wash. It features the dad filming his wife, who's driving, their son in the back seat, and another person.
As the camera moves to the back seat, there's a chilling moment where a clear outline of a child appears on a seat that seemed empty, glaring in a disturbing manner at the son who seems oblivious to its presence. However, when the camera angle shifts away and then back again, this eerie figure is gone. Initially, even the dad didn't notice it, but upon reviewing the video later, he was shocked to see the apparition. The family is convinced that a demon has latched onto their son, and many who've watched the clip share this belief. What's your take on this eerie footage? This video, posted on Instagram by Greencum, shows a clip from a police car's camera. In it, an officer is checking out a property at night using a flashlight. Suddenly, a scary, deep scream is heard. Could this sound have been made by an animal, or is it something supernatural? In Irish stories, there's a spirit called a banshee, known for its mournful cry, signaling that someone will soon die. The banshee can look different ways, a young woman, an old woman, or even an animal like a crow, and is seen as a messenger between life and death, not meant to scare, but to warn of a coming loss. Another spooky figure from Slavic tales is the Drekovac, thought to be the soul of a child who wasn't baptized or buried right. Its name means screamer because of its eerie screams at night. The Drekovac is described as skinny with a big head and long claws, living in places far from people, like forests or old buildings. It's seen as a bad sign to hear or see one, suggesting trouble or sickness might be coming. Given these stories, the officer probably did the smart thing by heading back to his car. What would you do if you heard such a frightening sound in the dark? In this video, a grandmother is enjoying her birthday, encircled by her loved ones who are all singing happy birthday to her. At first glance, the video looks like a typical family moment, capturing the celebration. But as the video progresses, an unexpected twist occurs that transforms this seemingly ordinary recording into something much more unsettling. Here's what was captured. During the birthday song, a shadowy figure zips behind the grandmother with such speed, yet it's captured clearly enough to suggest the presence of something or someone. Observers have pointed out that it resembles a child, specifically a girl, moving at an unnatural pace. This detail alone adds a layer of intrigue to the video, but the backstory deepens the mystery. According to the video's description, the grandmother had a daughter who died years earlier. This daughter used to run playfully around the house. Believing that this might be her spirit is an idea rooted in the family's experience and grief. So, what's your take? Could this be a ghostly appearance caught on video, or is there a different explanation for what was seen? The video was posted by the channel Paranormal Explorers, who visited the allegedly haunted Hill House Farm for a paranormal investigation. The channel owner mentioned discovering an entry about a 17th to 18th century gate pier at Link House Farm in Blythe while browsing through the English Heritage Historic Building's listing page. Despite passing by it many times, they were unaware of its existence, since it's not easily visible from the road. Link House Farm is a peculiar place, with abandoned farm buildings surrounding modern beach leisure facilities. Let's see what they encountered during their investigation that night. I hear a scream up here. Scream. Yeah. Careful with the floor, Steve. Mm -hmm. I'm not going any further than here. Because of the floors. In there. It's proper bad. There's a lot of stuff there. Such a bad feeling standing here, mate. Yeah, probably. At this stage, they capture something they believe might have a paranormal origin. What are your thoughts? Could it simply be a bug? However, they captured more than just that. At this juncture, they decided to delve even further into the building.
and it's here that a potential shadow appears to sway right in front of their camera. Did you catch that? Let's take another look at this. So, I personally believe this could be a genuine capture. What's your take? Do you think it could be something else? The creator of this video alleges to have captured a fallen angel on camera. If true, it's undoubtedly a frightening experience to witness such a phenomenon. What's your perspective on this? This video is from the Japanese ghost hunter channel Kuroshiro. Shiro and his friend Tei venture to an abandoned hospital believed to be haunted, located high in the mountains. The hospital was reportedly destroyed by a typhoon in 1982, and there are rumors of a woman's ghost haunting particularly in room 208. Upon arrival, they set up a night vision camera outside room 208 to capture any ghostly activity while they explore the rest of the building. Later, while they're elsewhere in the hospital, the static camera outside room 208 captures something that has left their viewers unsettled. Did you notice that behind the broken screen door, something appears to be moving in the darkness? This footage wasn't noticed until later when the ghost hunters reviewed it. Unfortunately, Tay, who was unaware of what the static camera captured, didn't find relief. The ghost hunters opt to split up. Tay opts to stay in the haunted room 208 upstairs while Shiro explores elsewhere. Terrified alone in room 208, Tay encounters something that sends shivers down his spine. <laughs> While Ghost Hunter Tay is calling out, a dark shadow seems to reach out and touch him, but Tay claims he didn't see anyone. Feeling unnerved, Tay hastily leaves the room in fear. Later, on a static camera aimed at the door of room 208, something white, believed by Kuroshiro's viewers to be a ghost, seems to follow Tay out of the haunted room. Upon reviewing the footage at home, both the investigators and their viewers are spooked, believing they captured the infamous ghost from room 208. What's your take? Did Shiro and Tay truly capture a ghost on camera? This woman appears distressed while talking on her cell phone, as if she's seeking help from something pursuing her. Suddenly, a chair next to her moves without explanation. Startled, she walks away, but when she tries to run, something even more alarming occurs. Unexplainably, an unseen force hurls several pieces of furniture towards the exit, as if a poltergeist is enraged with her. Is this video genuine or fabricated? What do you think? In the video, we witness a child exhibiting behavior that is certainly abnormal, making it challenging to fabricate.
What are your thoughts on this? Could it all be authentic, or is it merely a hoax? A person captured something quite peculiar on camera. At this point, one might also ponder, does the eerie face belong to something real, or is it merely an object strategically placed there? There doesn't seem to be anything present that could cast such a shadow or create that odd image. What could it ultimately have been? This man was engaged in conversation on his webcam when something peculiar occurred. His blanket on the bed moved without any apparent cause, followed by the violent opening of his closet door. The man's genuine reaction of fear adds credibility to the video's authenticity. Uh, just kind of giving a shout out back home, letting everybody know I love them, I miss them. Uh, Mom, Will, I really wish I could be home with y'all. Uh, I really, really, really miss home. I hate being here. Uh, Trish, I love you. I wish I could be home with you too. Uh, I know, I know we... What's your take on this? Do you believe it's genuine or fabricated? Share your opinion in the comments. This person recorded something bizarre in their kitchen. The video shows what could be a poltergeist moving objects in an unexplainable manner. Initially, we could attribute the events to invisible threads being manipulated by someone. However, the situation escalates when objects start floating in the air and something is thrown against the wall, seemingly pushed rather than pulled. What are your thoughts on this video? This man was peacefully sleeping in his room until an invisible force seemingly invaded, pulling his blanket away and eventually dragging him out of bed. The man wakes up frightened, and then, even more terrifyingly, something pulls him out of the room. While it's undeniably frightening, certain aspects of the video, such as the man's reaction, raise doubts about its authenticity. What's your opinion? Do you think it's real or fake? In this video capture, something truly alarming unfolds. Numerous objects begin moving inexplicably, as if there's a genuine poltergeist haunting the location. As if unsatisfied, it proceeds to break things and hurl objects with even greater violence.
What's your interpretation of this? The video is from the channel Most Haunted Official. In this video, the paranormal investigation team is visiting the Nebraska prison, a place known for its grim history. This location has been the site of repeated reports of supernatural events and sightings by many people over the years. There is a red cross in the middle of that window. But have you got your torch on, Stu? You shine it on this window just so I can show the guys at home. Right, now I'm going to go to normal vision. See that. There you go. See the blues and the, the red. And uh, how cool is that? <laughs> Me. Whoa, piano. Oh. Well, that just went off, and there's no one there. I, I, I've got, I was on that straight the keys, away. The keys are facing me, and it looks like one of the keys is down now as well. Have a look. There, stop. You see the key? It looks like it's down from where I'm standing. That's it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. You were. Be nasty to me. Shit. There's a. I'm not sure if you can hear it. There's a bell going off outside. Worst timing you can possibly have for a bell to go off. Come on, show yourself behind me. You're here. F me. Hello? That was a f door slamming and it was down here. Speak to me, please. Are you male or are you female? Is that you? Can you do it again? Can you make that sound? F right, the door was just landing. That one's still open. That one's still open. I've got footsteps on both sides. Stop now. One for one side, one for the other side. Are you ganging up on me? Do you want you pushing me in this cell? Well, I'm in the cell. Come on then. Close the door. If you think you can. I am really quite shitting myself. Right then. F door just f left. Wow. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? I sworn I heard a voice up here then. It wasn't sure. Okay. 
Let's see what we've got down here then, shall we? Hello? Is anyone here? I'm in this corridor. I'm on my own. Can you show yourself to me? If you want to scare me, you can. If you want to talk to me, you can. Nope. If you were talking to me earlier and you made a noise. Bloody hell. These are just big empty rooms. If you want to communicate with me, you can. Okay, just. I don't want to. Hello? While exploring the Nebraska prison, the team from Most Haunted Official first comes across a red cross that gives off a creepy vibe. As they're looking at it, a nearby piano unexpectedly makes a sound. Their exploration leads them to encounter numerous ominous noises and doors that slam shut by themselves, adding to their unease. But the most chilling moment occurs in one of the prison's gloomy rooms where they hear a disturbing scream that sounds like, no. Despite continuing their investigation, they don't encounter anything else significant. This leaves the question open. Are they experiencing genuine paranormal activity in a haunted prison? Or could there be another explanation for what they're encountering? In a neighborhood playground, a group of friends was working out on the public exercise equipment one evening. This typical activity took a strange turn when they noticed a mysterious man watching them from a distance. Initially, they didn't think much of it and continued their exercises, but the man kept watching them, even moving around to different spots. Things took a strange twist when something unseen began pulling one of the friends, and at that moment, the man walked away, suggesting he might have caused it. On social media, people are debating this incident, suggesting it's not about ghosts or demons, but could involve the man's possible psychic abilities, as captured on camera. This theory raises questions about his interest in the group, especially the one who was pulled, making the whole situation quite unsettling. The video comes from what looks like a military camp, showing a recruit who seems to have fallen into a kind of trance while asleep. Based on what's visible in the footage, this has been happening for several days, but it hasn't escalated to the level shown in this video until now. Seeing something like this would be quite shocking. It's as if some unseen force is trying to move him from the spot, aiming to take him somewhere else. This situation is understandably unsettling for the entire group watching, as they're unsure how to respond to what's happening. The reasons behind the man's trance-like state are unclear. Some might wonder if he's experiencing some form of demonic possession. Unfortunately, there's no information on how this situation concluded. This video was shared by Reddit user Original Acadia4057, and it was filmed in Iran. The person who posted it explains that the video was taken from a security camera at a home where the owner kept waking up to find the front door, which he was sure had been locked at night, unlocked and wide open by morning. Convinced he had been locking the door each night, the homeowner checked the CCTV footage, and what he saw was chilling. Oh, 
شسته یه او یه او غیب شده دیگه یه دفعه غیبش میزنه یا اول فر این داستان خونه که صبح پاشو دیدیم در بازه The door opens on its own, and a see-through figure shows up but then disappears and isn't seen again. Both the person who uploaded the video and the homeowner think this is a ghost captured on camera. What's your take on it? This mysterious video is from TikTok, shared by a user called Frank. It shows a weather event called a dust devil, which despite its strange appearance happens quite often, especially in arid desert regions. Frank managed to film one near some houses, but there's something about it that doesn't seem quite right. In the dust devil, there's a large shadow seen moving upward through it, heading towards the sky. When the dust devil starts to fade away, the shadow also seems to vanish completely. Users on TikTok are pretty sure that what they're seeing is not from this world. What's your take on it? This frightening video was shared by TikTok user Mandy ASMR22. She posted a video from her security camera capturing something unusual happening outside her house. In Mandy's video, you can see a figure wearing a hood or perhaps a shadowy object moving into the frame. It's not clear exactly who or what it is, but Mandy is sure of one thing. Nobody is supposed to be in that area. What's your take on it? This video comes from a TikTok user named Sierry, showcasing a worried mother who's become alarmed after noticing her daughter frequently appears frightened to be in her room, especially when she looks towards a specific area. The mother suspects that something or someone unseen is present in the room. On one occasion, her daughter ran into her room in tears, claiming that a woman had screamed at her. After inspecting her daughter's room and finding nothing out of the ordinary, the mother's concern turned to horror when she reviewed the footage from the security camera installed in her daughter's bedroom. The mother says that all she heard at the time was her daughter screaming and running out of the room, even though the security footage clearly captured a sharp, terrifying scream coming from inside the room itself. So, what's your take on this situation? The video is from a channel called Analog Heaven. The person who uploaded it shares that it was sent by someone who had been experiencing their piano playing on its own, wanting to figure out this strange occurrence. To get to the bottom of it, the person decided to set up a camera aimed at their piano, and this is the footage they managed to record. In the footage, the piano lid lifts, and the piano starts to play on its own. Upon closer inspection, you can spot what seems to be an apparition playing the piano, captured on the video. But the question remains, do you think this is a real ghost caught on camera? Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. Tasha Dazes, a TikTok user, has shared a series of spooky videos capturing strange happenings in what she claims is her haunted house. She has uploaded multiple clips showing unusual events within and around this old farmhouse, which she and her spouse moved into, marking the beginning of these eerie occurrences. Tasha is convinced that her home is haunted. Here by myself, there's a picture on the floor, and it just... Every single morning, things are on the floor. Every single morning. So I'm gonna hook up my computer and see if I catch anything tonight. 
Maybe it's just rodents, but we're gonna find out. Look at them, destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Her recordings capture a door that mysteriously swings open and then slams shut for no apparent reason, with something briefly visible at the bottom, sparking curiosity among viewers. On another occasion, her doorbell camera is activated in the middle of the night by an unseen presence, accompanied by the sound of footprints in the snow. Tasha is also disturbed by tapping noises on her roof while her family remains asleep and frequently finds books scattered on her kitchen floor in the morning. After installing a camera to catch the cause, she records books falling and sliding off shelves, along with a random noise detected just after 1 a.m. footage from her living room shows a shadow climbing the wall, and her doorbell camera later captures a mysterious shadowy figure that quickly vanishes. Seeking answers, she hired a group of paranormal investigators, and they discovered this. In the hallway? In the hallway. In the hallway. Right there. So that is where um, my dog gets scared. Wait. So, so here. You wanted us to come to the hall. You want to say hi? What, what the heck? Is that you? During the paranormal investigation in Tasha Days's house, countless orbs are seen floating around the living room, captured on camera by the investigators. They are then seemingly guided by the entity haunting Tasha's home to move to the hallway. There, a picture frame is observed moving in an odd manner before it suddenly topples over, startling the investigators. Prompted by this eerie occurrence, they proceed upstairs, and what they encounter next sends shivers down their spines. Apparently, it seems that they're very upset that you're changing, changing the, house. the house. So you think it will so. calm down when we're done, or...? Uh, if you can find peace with them. As Tasha and the paranormal investigators stand on the upstairs landing of her house, a ghostly figure becomes visible at the bottom of the stairs. It forms quickly and then disappears just as fast. The footage that Tasha captured left her audience in awe, with many suggesting that she should have her house blessed to rid it of any spirits. Reacting to the widespread interest in Tasha's situation, Isabel Frank, a well-known psychic medium and energy healer, made a video after her clips were sent to various psychic mediums by numerous people. Given all these occurrences and reactions, What's your take? Do you believe Tasha's farmhouse is truly haunted? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.